Thank you for tuning in to HD News 7-Eleven. I'm Kaylee Davis. And I'm Ray Cohen Dennis. Here are our upcoming events. Yesterday was ending the nine week, so report cards will be issued next week. Eligibility will go into effect Thursday, April 2nd at 3.20 p.m. For the Jewish and Seniors, promised tomorrow night at Heritage Hall in Paris, Texas. The theme is the night to remember with French decor. News correspondent Sarah Moxon has special reports for us now on the topic of school lunches, so we will go live now to Sarah. Thank you, Kaylee. I'm here speaking to an anonymous person about the quality of our school lunches. How often do you eat school lunch here at Honey Grove? Um, about every day. What do you think about the food? On some days, it's okay. What's your favorite food item, and how often do they serve it? Say pizzas, and I think it's on Tuesday and Thursday. Okay. Um, what do you think they could do to improve the quality of the other school lunches? Not on the show. We have it here at HG News. Thank you, Sarah. Next week, ELC testing will begin. On Monday, March 30th, the English test, the English 1 test will be given on Wednesday, April 1st. The English 2 EOC will be administrated. Check the windows near the library for your room assignments listed by your student ID number. News correspondent John Garza has been investigating the topic of global warming and is currently on the side. We'll break to John now who is speaking live with the polar bear. Global warming sure seems to be a big thing of controversy. It seems to be harming the wildlife, especially in the colder regions. We have a live polar bear, which happens to be a native to the colder region, here to speak his opinion on global warming. Mr. Mr. Polar Bear, how do you feel about global warming? Well, you know, John, I really like the cold. With all this global warming, it's hard to stay cool. I mean, I love to go for a nice swim in the Arctic Ocean, but you know, it's just not enough. Because of all this global warming, it gets really hot and very difficult to get food. I've even done commercials for some for some soda companies, like Coca-Cola, just so I could get by last year. I need my freezing water like y'all need to go like y'all need to drive everywhere. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to go cool off. Thank you, Mr. Polar Bear. As you see now, polar bears are struggling for survival. Will polar bears be here in the years to come? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Back to you, Skillet Hands. Thank you for that interesting report, Poor Chop. We will be out of school next Friday, April 3rd, for Good Friday, which is also Easter weekend, so have fun hunting Easter eggs. Or chocolate. Or cake. We will now go to Bryson and Marlo for the weather and traffic report. Thank you, Kaylee. The weather for this week will show some warm friends coming in from the south going north, as you can see later this week. Sunday forecast shows we'll have mild temperatures in the morning and probably mid-70s during the afternoon, maybe 60s at night. So go outside and have fun. We now go to Marlo, who is in the studio for the traffic report. Hi, Bryson. I'm in Studio 711 next to the traffic cam, and the traffic seems to be going a little slow due to everyone in school or at work. And hopefully the traffic will pick up by pick back up by this afternoon. We now go to Amber and Desire for our sports update. Thank you, Marlo, and welcome to our Warriors Sports Newscast. I'm Amber Williams. And I'm Desire for you. <clears throat> Three girls, junior Alexis Wilkinson and sophomores Emily Bailey and Jada Red competed in regional powerlifting on Saturday, March 7th. Jada placed second at regionals and qualified for state. Junior Hoss McElroy and freshman Dylan McElroy represented the boys at regionals this year. Hoss finished in third place, making him an alternate to state. Congratulations to all these athletes. The boys will also have a home baseball game at 6.30 versus Dodge City and tomorrow at 11 a.m. at Blue Ridge. Today there will be a softball game held here in Honey Grove at 4.30 p.m. versus Celeste. As I recently had an interview with senior Molly Thomas, let's see the footage. I'm good, just out here practicing. That's good. How's practice been going? It's been going good. How have the games been? They've been good as well, 2-0 in district. That's good to know. Tell us about your position at softball. Um, play shortstop. It's pretty intense. 
Do you like the position you play? Uh, I love the position I've played. I've been playing since freshman year. How is playing softball as a scene? It's bittersweet. It's sad that it's coming to an end. Do you plan on playing even in college? I'm not really sure. Well, that's all for this interview. Let's go back to Ella to this. The Warriors and Lady Warriors will attend their last practice track me at Chisholm this Thursday, April 2nd, after school to the track of this week, which is coming up on April 15th right here on our own track. Well, that's all for our Warriors sports newscast. Back to you, Kaylee and Rick Wong. Thank you, Amber. Well, that concludes our morning newscast here on H2 News 7-Eleven. We hope you have a great day.